Welcome to the Fremont Group webinar series. The Fremont Group webinar series follows the book Minding My Own Business, and it examines the six responsibilities of the small business owner. We divide the year into six two-month segments. This being September and October, we are dealing with the fifth responsibility of that small business owner, which is risk. This is the fourth in our series of risk webinars, and it deals with concentration of sales and the risk that, that brings. My name is Dirk Dieters. I'm the executive director of the Fremont Group. I'm also the author of Minding My Own Business. The Fremont Group is a nonprofit organization. We offer mentoring, coaching, and management consulting to small business owners. We work across industries. We, our clients are owners who work in their business hands-on on a daily basis in whatever industry they happen to be. And to those owners, we become a trusted advisor, providing mentoring, coaching, management, and, and management consulting. We also opened up an accounting division where we do the accounting, QuickBooks Accounting for small businesses. Uh, it's an outsourced service completely in the United States uh, that solves all the problems that you have in getting accurate financial information out of your accounting. With TFG 360, if you visit our website, uh, you'll get more information on that. And it ties together your accounting with your goals and the mentoring, coaching, and consulting uh, that we do. We also provide webinars like this one. And we have a blog at our Patreon site, www.patreon.com slash the Fremont Group, all one word. And that blog has all sorts of educational materials and information on it. And it's where we post these webinars and other information. Uh, then to get more information about the Fremont Group, visit our website at www.tfginfo.org. You have worked very hard in your business. You went through times when there were many growing pains in your business, and you worked very hard to cultivate relationships and sales amongst your customers. Your business has successfully grown. You have those loyal clients and customers, and you've concentrated your sales efforts on expanding your sales to your existing customers because that's where uh, the most return can be generated for the least amount of effort. Your best salespeople deal with your best customers. All of these are very good things and you've worked very hard to accomplish them. So what's the problem? The issue could very well be that your customer mix is putting you at risk. What do we mean by customer mix and concentration of sales? Well, typically in just as a rule of thumb, although it certainly varies from industry to industry and client to client, if you have more than 20% of your sales coming from any single customer, your business is significantly at risk. Your business has successfully grown, and maybe it, but if it's grown through a concentration of its sales, you have a, a risk that needs to be addressed. We had one client whose exclusive uh, client, a customer, uh, they were millwrights, uh, were Anheuser-Busch. They were near an Anheuser-Busch plant and uh, uh, their, all of their sales came from moving the equipment around to retool and fix up the uh, uh, Anheuser, local Anheuser-Busch plant. Uh, and they grew and they did very well. When we curved and, and put, a, put together the curve of their sales, we referred to it as the beer curve, by the way, uh, they were on a great track. Then Anheuser-Busch decided to take that work in-house and their customer ended. Their, their, their work just ended. Their, their, their entire business was over. You may, you've developed loyal customers. That's true. But chances are you've really developed loyalty uh, of a, a very shallow nature. It could be shallow in that uh, they really are only dealing with you because you're the only one or uh, you happen to have the best price at the time or that sort of thing, or you're, you, but you were solving their problems and so they seemed very loyal. But you may also have developed a loyalty to an individual in that particular business and uh, once that individual leaves, uh, that business may not have that loyalty to you anymore. 
You've concentrated your efforts on expanding those sales to those existing customers, but have you done that at the uh, uh, mercy of not expanding uh, your your uh, base and, and bringing in a more diverse customer base uh, that can handle uh, if one client happens to go south on you. And you have your best salespeople, of course, dealing with your best customers because that's where they can make the most money. Uh, well, that also is counterproductive uh, in that uh, your best salespeople should be out cultivating new relationships with new customers. Uh, that's, that's a critical part of uh, looking at your sales system. So what can you do about these things, about this risk that, you, that may be created before you lose everything that you have built, before you lose everything that you've been uh, trying to uh, take care of your family and uh, uh, your employees and everything else for years? You've been successful. How do we mitigate this risk? Well, working with a success partner at uh, the Fremont Group can be one way to do it because chances are you're in a comfort zone. You're in a comfort zone because things are going well and no one walks in and starts trying to give you bad news or say maybe we should do this or this because maybe this is at risk. Maybe this isn't the best thing. Chances are everyone is telling you what a great job you've done of putting it together. A good, and this is a line that comes from our, our uh, newsletters, uh, a, a good teacher doesn't tell you what you want to hear. They tell you what you need to hear. If working with the Fremont Group, we provide what we call success partners. Your success partners tell you the things that you need to hear, not what you want to hear. Sometimes they're not liked as a result of it. They, they will look and try to identify risks and things that you can protect yourself against. They'll create systems, procedures, and controls to head off other risks. They'll look at your sales system, which is a very critical part of this step. What is, how, what is the system that you use to produce your sales? It's not, if, it, if it, that system can be defined as Joe goes out and finds people, uh, you've got a problem, okay? How do you go through the different steps of sales? How do you identify leads? How do you qualify your leads? How do you close your leads? And how do you generate more work out of your customer service? Those four elements are all part of the system that you have for your sales. Speak with us. Give us a call. You'll be surprised what we can do. Uh, our website is www.tfginfo.org. We have offices in Colorado at the 303 number. And we have offices in Tucson, Arizona at the 520 number. But we do work nationwide. If you'd like to email us, send an email to admin at tfginfo.org and take some time to review the materials that we have on our blog. You can get there in two different ways, either from our web website, just click the blog heading, or go to www.patreon.com slash the Fremont Group. There you'll find numbers of webinars, you'll find uh, informative information, articles, and so on uh, that uh, uh, all are directly germane to uh, your responsibility of making your business successful. Our success partners want to help. We're not from the government, but we are here to help. So give us a call, check us out. We'd love to hear from you. Thank you.